Hello class, welcome to my humble Colorado abode. I am from Colorado and I'm visiting some family um, currently. But for my speech today, I wanted to start off by t introducing a friend of mine named Isaac. Uh, he got in a bicycle accident, a uh, motorcycle accident the other day. And he had the, the cop come by, it was a hit and run, they, they sideswiped him and he went off into the grass. He ended up feeling fine, he could walk around fine, didn't feel any major pain was pretty good for the most part, maybe had a couple bumps and bruises. The EMT at the end of their interaction kind of advised that he should go to the ER if possible. And so Isaac taking his advice ended up going to the ER. Um, he was still kind of mentally shaken up from the thing. And so, you know, I'm going, uh, they checked him out, maybe did an, did an x-ray or something like that. And then, then he left. A couple months later, Isaac being a college student, not having health insurance, um, he received a bill for $5,000. Isaac, had he known that that visit was going to cost him $5,000, would not have gone to the ER. Isaac would have gone and gotten an x-ray from a private practice clinic the next day and probably saved $4,000. But he didn't know that. And the hospital never told him. And then they smacked him with the bill. And they said, you need to pay $5,000. So... Today, I kind of want to talk about a couple different things. One, I want to introduce a group called Where the Cost. They're an organization out of Maryland, um, and they just promote conversation about healthcare pricing transparency and how we can better do a job of that. So today, I just want to talk about three main things, how we can better support, how we can help support better healthcare pricing transparency, what Where the Cost is, and two, and then three, also ways that we can support the movement um, whenever we're visiting a doctor's office or something like that. So. Um, yep, so what is healthcare pricing transparency? At the end of the day, it's the ideal that companies or hospitals would be more transparent about their pricing. If you go in for a knee replacement or this, that, the other, you should know how much you're going to pay. Like, similar to you going to a grocery store, you know how much you're going to pay whenever you pick up a banana because the pricing is there. But in the, healthcare, the healthcare industry should be doing a similar job. In 2013, they did a study where they called two hospitals from every state and they received uh, and they asked about uh, prices for a total hip replacement. On average, each person had to call three times before they got a response about a number. And they also had prices range from $11,000 to $121,000. This article is posted on uh, JAMA Network and you can look at it um, for yourself. But the pricing was a difference of $11,000 to $121,000. There was also another study done by Harvard and they looked at the quality difference between different pricing because different hospitals are more expensive than the other. And so the question is, if you pay more, do you get a better service? And their answer was no, you actually received the same quality service. So these two people, let's say you, you and a friend were getting the same surgery done. Let's say for the sake of simplicity, a total hip replacement, you could be adjacent to another hospital and they could be receiving the same surgery for $11,000. And you could be receiving the same surgery for $121,000. And going into the surgery, neither of y'all would know that because hospitals at this modern day don't have to report their prices and in all actuality, they benefit from it. Um, and there's some issues with kind of getting a, it's hard to produce a number, but at the end of the day, they can. And there's insurance codes and, and that, that make it really easy for them to do that, but they don't. And patients don't know that. And patients kind of get stuck and they can get sued and this, that, and the other. So anyways, that's kind of the issue of pricing transparency. There's a group called Where the Cost. They're based out of Maryland. Um, and at the end of the day, they kind of just promote dialogue. They have a petition. If you if you wanted to sign, you can go to their website. It's wherethecost.com. They also sell these cool shirts. Uh, they have these shirts, and it'll say hip arthroplasty, you know, $35,000, uh, vaginal delivery, or, or just uh, delivering a baby, $9,000. And so they kind of talk about different things and what they actually cost patients. And so if you go into a hospital, people will generally know what they cost because they've seen these shirts and they've been, been around that dialogue. So how can we advocate and join this group? One, the best way is to talk with your doctor. Ask them good questions. There's a lady named Elizabeth uh, Rosenthal, and she has an article about how to ask good questions. And these questions are just really simple. It's how to be a good customer, right? So ask your healthcare provider, hey, like, you know, what is this going to cost? Can I go somewhere else to receive the same care? 
basic questions, right? Ask, let your healthcare provider know that you don't want to pay top dollar for something that you don't need to pay top dollar for. Tell your friends um, about this stuff as well. It's another great way that you can join this. Healthcare pricing is a big deal and a lot of people unknowingly become a victim. And through simple conversations, we can avoid that. And so, yeah, today I wanted to talk with you and I hope that y'all better understand healthcare pricing transparency, what, where the cost is and different ways that we can support the movement wherever we go. Thank you.